we've added up the valence electrons for XeF3 minus here. We have the 8 for xenon, 7 times the 3 fluorines, and then this negative sign up here, make sure we count that for a total of 30 valence electrons. We'll put the xenon in the center. It's the least electronegative. So here we have our xenon atom. And then we'll put the fluorines around this. We'll put two electrons between the fluorine and the xenon atom to show the chemical bond. At this point, we've used six valence electrons. And now we'll go around and complete the octets for the fluorine atoms. We've used 24 valence electrons, and the octets are complete on the fluorine atoms. The xenon, it only has six, and we have six more valence electrons that we need to put somewhere. We can't put them on the fluorine atoms. Those are in period two, and they can only hold eight valence electrons. But the xenon, that can have an extended octet, so we can place the remaining electron pairs around the central xenon atom. So now we've used all 30 valence electrons. The fluorines, they have complete octets. And then the xenon, it has more than eight valence electrons, but that's okay because it can have an extended octet. So this is the Lewis structure for XeF3 minus, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.